What's up, Mentorship Freaks? It's the Daily Dose of the Mentorship Motivator, dropping some bombs. Today we're talking about selling, selling more, selling again, but to who? Who exactly? Your current clients, your existing clients. We're talking about upsells, getting more out of your existing clients. And why? Why is that so much easier? Well, first of all, those existing clients ha already have a history of paying with you. You already know their, their, their credit is good here. They're already happy if they've been with you for a certain amount of time already. You've already gotten them some results or given them some great service or they've used your product, they've used your services. They're happy if they're still with you and, and they're continuing to use your services month after month, then they're happy. If they stayed with you, they're happy. If they're getting results, they're happy. They already like the product or service or you or the company, probably most of those or all of those if they continue to stay there. They most likely, if they've stayed with you in your company for enough long enough time, they've gotten results. So they're happy for that. They already obviously like the people, the company, maybe you or maybe not you, but they already know you. You've already built rapport with them. You don't have to, they already know the process of how things go. You already have their billing information. You've already done business with them. They already know your cost and the prices of your services in general, that you're a probably higher price service than most. And that's just a starting point right there. That makes it so much easier. That takes away so much of the selling that you need to do with other with a, like a cold lead or even just a warm lead. You don't have to do any of that rapport building and all that other stuff. But you do need to continue building rapport. Don't, don't mistake it that you don't need to continue doing that stuff to maintain the relationship. Just because someone's on a monthly program with you, right, and they're paying monthly recurring, doesn't mean that they can't just cancel that stuff. We know they could just clip a credit card. They could just do a charge back on their service. Sure, you could fight it. You're going to lose that stuff like so many, such a high percentage of the time that it's almost not even worth putting in the work to go through those like two, three rounds of arbitration, whatever else. So you do need to resell them. So that's the next thing. These current clients, you need to resell them again and again by continuing to give them that great service, that great results. But if you do, you're going to earn the right to then ask for more, more from those same people. So that's the easiest money, even easier than referral. So also you're going to sell them. You're going to up, you're going to, I consider that an upsell. Getting a referral from someone, from a, a happy client is technically it's almost an upsell. Because you're now you that from that that client that lifetime value of that client just went up by them referring someone else that now signs up for a full program full monthly package for you so that earns you the right to then ask for referrals and ask often ask as much as you need to to get referrals if, if they're getting results with your services and now that referral is gonna be pre-qualified and it's going to be not so much of you know the rapport building already started they probably already know what your service is like from their friend from the referral so that makes that much easier but the only easier sale than a referral you know the only easier sale and referral is the person that's already bought from you it could be a previous client or is easier than a referral because that person has already paid a previous client getting them back because you know they've already done business with you even better than that is your current existing clients those are the easiest sell because they're already paying, they're already happy. So then you have earned the right to ask them for a referral, but you also earn the right to ask them to spend more with you, to upgrade their services, to upsell them. You've already built the trust and respect with them. You already have it. They don't have to be sold. They will just buy because they've already been sold. Although we know we're continuing to sell all the time. But just for the point of this case, we're saying they don't have to be sold as, as, the, as a cold prospect does because they're just willing to buy, they're ready to buy. You could sell them something new, you have a new product, you have a new service coming out in addition to what they're doing, you can sell them that. You can sell them I mean, an upgrade to what they're using already, or an upgrade in features, or benefits, or model, or an upgrade in the level of service they're getting, so more of what they're getting. It could be an upgrade in quantity, maybe they're doing something two times a week, you could do it to three or four times a week, or unlimited, whatever it is. You can sell more of what they already have, what they already use, if they're using an actual product, sell them more of that product. Get, sell them more to give to their friends for gifts, sell them gift cards, sell them gift certificates, sell them, you can constantly upsell them when you earn the right to do it. And services they, 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 they don't even, they don't use that you already have. Maybe they only use one type of service, but you have some other services available. You could sell them those, they're already been, they've already been sold. Then you should look to get one re well, of course, the selling continues, right? The rapport building always continues. Get to know them all the time. So those current clients, look, try to learn about their business. They have a job. They have a business, something. Give them some kind of 
business referral once a month. Try to make that an aim on your top 20% of your clientele or even more, depending on what you have time for. Send them referrals for their business. Even if it's not, even if they're not a business owner, maybe they're a manager, they still work on commission or they're a car salesman or real estate. Send them leads every month. Send them at least one solid lead every month, one solid referral. And then guess what? Ask them for one solid referral. And it's just a, a nonstop interchange of business. That's an upsell. To me, that's an upsell. And that's also planting the seeds for an upsell. You get you want a referral. Listen, listen, the easiest way to ask for referrals, you already gave somebody a referral. They're gonna feel that law of reciprocity to give back to you, right? And it's just gonna be going nonstop. Imagine because you do that every month with your top 10%, top 20% of your clients that you could send them a referral every month, they could send you a referral every month. That goes well above and beyond your services that they're gonna to wanna to continue doing business with you at your service level because you're doing so much more for them and you're just giving back to each other. It's just a win-win. Make this part of like your daily, your habits. Like this is what you're doing. And if you can't get a, a additional sales or referrals or upsells from your existing client, that tells you you probably haven't established enough rapport with them. If you can't get them leads, you haven't established enough rapport. If you can't get them to give you leads and referrals, it tells you you haven't established enough rapport. You don't know their business well enough. You don't know them well enough. They don't know you well enough. They don't know you the way your, your the process of your business runs well enough. So you need to continue to build that relationship so you can ask for additional sales and ask for referrals. But if not, you haven't, uh, you haven't established enough rapport or you probably didn't give them enough attention. After they signed that dotted line, you might have let them slip away instead of continuing to nurture that relationship and with that client to keep building them, building them so they get to that level and you could just nonstop approach them with this sale, this bonus, this, that service. Get this referral for them. Give them this lead and referral because you've gotten to know them. The, or if they're not giving you this stuff, there's you probably again you probably didn't follow through after the sale was made. You just kind of abandoned them. You once someone signs up with you for your service or product, that doesn't mean the relationship is ending. That is just the beginning of the relationship. So if you want to upsell them, get referrals from them, you have to look at it as that's the beginning of the relationship when they first sign up with you, when they first buy your freaking product. Because maybe they maybe you're not able to upsell them or get a referral or some leads from them. Because maybe there's some hidden problem that they're having or a hidden struggle they're still having after signing up for your product or service that's undiscovered. Or maybe it's a problem that you know about and you're just freaking avoiding it. Maybe it's that. So you need to think about this and analyze those situations, figure it out. Or maybe you're just simply, you're not thinking big enough. You're not thinking brave enough. You're just, just don't be a little bitch. Just ask for it. Be open-minded enough and confident enough and creative enough like to think, oh, I don't have any other products or services to sell them. I have nothing to upsell them. Create a fucking upsell. Create some upsells. There's always more you can offer of what you do in so many ways. Quantity, frequency, higher level of service, more attention, more detail, whatever. There's so many ways you can do it. Additional products, more of the same products. And then, of course, referral is another one. But you're probably not thinking big enough, not brave enough, and not three letters. There's three letters. A-S-K. Just freaking ask. Just ask. And if they don't do it, then you know you have some more nurturing to do. You got to water that that plant, you know, water that seed a little more till it grows into a plant that could be an upselling plant and, oh, with branches in all different directions. You can upsell and get referrals from because you probably never cultivated that relationship in the first place. So that's what you need to then go back and do that if you can't upsell. If you see people that just, you can never upsell on anything, you probably need to build that relationship a little more. So think of that as in where can you get money from? and more additional revenue from without spending a, a dime. Obviously there's those, those cold leads, those organic leads, but those are going to be cold, but yes, you can still get that without spending your money, but a, a, a better level or sorry, organic leads, a better level than that is going to be referrals from existing clients. Probably even better than that are previous clients you've had before because they've already spent money with you. Now they might've stopped just because their own personal reason. If they stop because your services weren't good enough, you could just tell them, let them know how you improved. Have you gotten so much better? If that's the case, and the number one way that of, of of money and revenue that you're sitting on is current clients, current clients, and just upselling them more and getting them to buy more and pay more because they're already paying you. They already know you. They already they already trust you. They already like you. You've already built the rapport. You don't need to sell from them. They're just gonna wanna buy. Hopefully, if not, build it up a little more. So that's a daily dose of the mentorship motivator. Go out there and upsell your people. 
extract more from the ones that are already given you. And, and, and you don't have to feel unethical about it. You're giving them things they need and that they want. It's not like you're forcing shit on them. We're talking about stuff that they actually need and want. It's going to help them get one step closer to the outcome they're looking for. So don't be afraid to do it. Ask. You need to freaking ask. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuses.